Hey, it's Sofang Student here, and today I'm going to showcase my version of a calculator built with JavaFX and SceneBuilder. I'll first showcase the program, and then I'm going to talk a bit about the concepts of how it's built, and showcase a bit of the code. So first, we just have a simple calculator. We can add some numbers. Let's do 10. We can then define what we're going to do with this number. So let's add it to something. It then saves it in the corner of the screen. I can then put another 10. Click Calculate. And we get 10 plus 10 equals 20. We could do 10 divided by 2 plus 5.0. 9 times 3 equals 27, and so on. So, how it works. So, I have my text field in the top. Let me actually just showcase inside Scene Builder. Text field and a lot of buttons. All of these buttons have an on action. So, whenever we click this button, we call a method that does something. So let me just showcase first. In the text field, we then have some saved numbers, which is the text in the top corner. We then have our first number and current number, which is where we save first in the current number. We save the text right here, so let me just go through the process. So I input 1, 0, which is my current number, which is a string. So whenever I click 1 and 0, I have these buttons. So when I click 1, I just simply add number 1. So add my number one to the current number. And because it's a string and we're concatenating with strings, we're just adding the, the number one. We're not actually adding anything together. So it's just one, zero. So it's not one plus zero, it's one and zero. We get 10. And we then update the text field. We then click plus. And whenever we click plus, we click the add action. We then call the calculate setup method, giving the plus. And the calculate setup method simply defines that a calculation type, which is just a variable, a string, that it is a plus, so we're adding stuff together, which is saved, so we later can check whenever we are calculating what's actually being calculated and how. We then save our current number, which is the number 10, inside the first number variable, and we then set the current number to nothing. And we then set the save text, which is the text in the corner here, to first number 10 and the calculation type, which is plus in this case. So if I had done 10 minus, we get 10 minus, and so on. So 10 plus. Whenever we do this, I now have my current number to nothing, so I can add a new number. And whenever I then click Calculate, we then save our first number, in this case 10, as an integer, using integer to pass in to get from string to integer. We do the same with the current number, which in this case also 10. We then check the calculation type, which in my case is a plus, which was saved in the calculation type variable. If it's plus, we just simply get the two numbers, the two integer numbers, and plus them, add them together. And we then set the save number text to the first number plus the second number equals solution, the calculated number. And we update our text field with the solution. In this case, 20, and we get 10 plus 10 equals 20. And we just do the same with the minus. Division and multiplication. With division, we need to add, cast one of the number to a decimal number, otherwise we get some problems. So just casting one of the numbers to a double, just to make sure we get uh, actually a decimal number instead of just having something left out. So that's pretty much the setup. We have some buttons to add some numbers, which is saved in a current number variable. We then define which kind of um, calculation we're doing, and then save the current number, first number variable, get a new number, and then do the calculation using the calculation type defined. And then we also have a C, a clear, which simply just clears the current number, empties the text field, and a saved number text. So that's pretty much my setup of a simple calculator using JavaFX and SingBuilder. And of course, there'll be a link in the description to the source code if you want to have a look at it yourself. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and wish you all a wonderful day.